Hi guys, wanted to share with you uh, one of my many, many crafts that um, I'm addicted to. Uh, so I thought I would share today uh, my jewellery making and um, I'll show you some of the things I've been making and I'll talk to you about uh, one of the main suppliers that I buy my jewellery from and I'll show you my latest bead haul. So here's an example of some of the earrings that um, I've made and obviously I've kept for myself. And what I like to try and do is um, only use silver uh, for the posts, um, purely because I have a metal allergy and I can only wear um, silver, gold and platinum. And um, and obviously if, I'm, if I am going to sell them, then it's, it's just it's extra quality. The only thing is though, I like to use like this... Uh, like this antique gold colour and like the bronzes and um yeah then you know if you're using silver uh, posts then they don't match i don't mind that personally and then these um these ones here uh i just added uh crystals in you get special uh super powerful jewelry glue some beading going on there with what you call jump rings and then more crystals. These are really cute. I hope you can focus in. I'm putting my finger there so it focuses. And then these other beads. And then I also like to make like these stacking bracelets. So there's a whole stack of them here. And I like to also put these little hangers on them. Uh, some of these are ancient, as you can see by this little feather here. And um, I do them elasticated. Because I'm, I'm mainly wearing these in summertime. And you know when you... Um, you know, you swell when you get hot. So I prefer, I prefer the elasticated bracelets. And then these other bracelets, also elasticated stacking bracelets, but with um, slightly bigger beads. Um, that's the Hamza hand, another Hamza hand. So very much in the boho kind of style. Uh, this is a necklace that I made myself. Very, very simple. Uh, bought this pendant from a jewellery fair. Added a few uh, beads on it for uh, extra weight and then just a leather cord and then I also quite like to make these uh, wrap bracelets so this one's just very very simple piece of leather and uh, a magnetic uh, see if I can do this with one hand bear with me and as you can see it's a uh, magnetic the clasp uh, and so you can put sliders on them or hang things from them I just like this very simple effect and then also this is in what you would call like the Chan Lu style um, like a wrap bracelet and uh, that's I don't know if you can see it so clearly but the little gold uh, the little shell hanging off it has got like gold gold accents so there are some of the examples of jewellery that I make for myself and sometimes other people. So if you've watched this channel before, you do know that I do have an actual uh, job job where I have to go out to work. So um, I would love to do this kind of thing for a living, but it doesn't pay very well. And um, yeah, I've worked from home before and it can be quite lonely. So I like to actually be part of a team, but it doesn't stop me making things. Which brings me on to the next section, which is I'll show you... Um, a little bead haul that I got from, um, it's a Dutch supplier and um, it's um, a wholesaler, so a, a, in Dutch it's a groot handle. So you do need, um, you need to be VAT registered. I do have my own company, so I was able to uh, open an account with this company. The name of the company is, uh, I might not be pronouncing this right, it's uh, Betale Kralen, I think it's called. Um, I'll put the link below to their website, you can have a look. You can't see the prices unless you have an account with them. But Tala Kralin is one of the regular ones that I order from just because um, the, the quality is great, uh, very good pricing. But if there is um, like a jewellery fair, like a craft or a hobby fair or exhibition going on, of course I always go and I look for new suppliers. And um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not what you would call a 100% loyal shopper. Um, so you always get a little thank you... Uh, envelope from them with your invoice uh, confirming what you ordered and how much you paid and for VAT and then they always send like a little sort of um, promo card like a postcard of uh, new collections and on their website they have like inspiration videos tutorials as well which is really nice and then they have like these little I don't know like a mini like a mini lookbook kind of thing it's bringing some of trends for 2019 uh, but they're always getting new stock, so you know I always pop on. I don't go off this kind of thing. I always have a look regularly. But it's nice you get ideas and things, and they tell you how 
you know, their, their stock ties in with catwalk trends. So anyway, that's what you get. Very, very quickly show you some of the things I bought. So I've ordered some new um, end caps. I don't know if you can see that. Some spacers. These are ceramic. They're not precious stone. They're not actual jade. But like a jade colour with um, like a gold finish on them. And these ones, some metal beads. These met very much in the boho style metal beads. Probably use these as spacers. So I hope you liked today's video and um, maybe you've been inspired to have a go at making something for yourself. If you want to know anything about making jewellery or um, how to get started uh, or other stockies I use, please feel free to ask in the comments. And if you actually would like some tutorials, if, if I've shown you something, uh, like for example, if I've shown you like any of these earrings that you would like to learn how to make yourself, it's very, very simple. I'll be happy to post a tutorial either on YouTube or my Instagram let me know. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next vlog. Bye!